but you know, one of those things, I guess. I'm getting shot by this dude over here, so I'm gonna sprint up that time. And just this is like shows you how good the melee gets. Just keep whacking him, and eventually he will die. Just wait for the grave. And you see, every single time I'm pretty much ready to go that I don't have my weapon out. And I'm just reinforcing that fact because a lot of people say it adds to the game or whatever. I, I think it's an unnecessary step. That's my opinion. I double click there and eat. And you see how I'm eating and I'm getting nourishment from that little uh, stick, you know, food on a stick or whatever it may be. And uh, keep an eye on the stamina. Stamina is the key of this game right now, uh, at least in combat. Mana is another one, so what you can do is usually start opening up by a couple of mana shots, but they get really inaccurate really fast, at least at the early stages with mana missile. So, just gotta wait and we can start frying people with them. And I'm hoping that at the higher levels that the spells get a little bit faster, because if you have such a slow spell from a distance, it's very easy to avoid it. You can just step out of the way. This is a kind of nice overview off the cliff. Some of the graphics. I'm just waiting for something to spawn. I'm just trying to. Sk the world right now is pretty devoid of life, so, and I, I'll chalk that up to it being a beta because, uh, you know, they had they have said that they're testing a lot of the monster AI and they're going to disable monsters and monsters will disappear. So, uh, that's what I'm going to guess that most of that comes from. Yeah, I got a shot on that. There's another. You can see how easy it was for the Goblin Scout to. Uh, that's why I'm aiming at the ground now. Failed on that. Again. Oh, missed. There, so if you aim at the ground, you get the little explosion and you get a little bit better. And I keep failing, but. There we go. I'm just doing this because. I get to level up in my. Uh, Fill up, I should say. Let me not use that word. I know people are going to yell at me. And there's a tracer coming from the back there as well, so there's another goblin shooting at me. There we go. Let's see if we can shoot that one. Now, I'm not going to get too many shots off because this far of a distance. See, he already had moved it. There's another one in the distance, so. Just makes more sense to hide out for a sec and go into melee because melee is the easiest way to kill people in this game uh, magic is just not gonna cut it at least at the lower levels now like I said I'm not gonna try to judge the game based on this lower level but uh, melee is pretty bland you know you just go up you whack the guy a couple times and if you've ever played counter-strike uh, the knife fighting if you wait for them to take a swipe you they take the swipe and if you have backed off uh, you'll get a couple of shots off at them I missed on that shot. Just get the arc out of it. That one's a good shot. Kill the goblin, and that is pretty good. Uh, I've seen that the uh, your stamina goes lower faster when you use archery, but for a distance shot, it's a it's a really good shot, and especially when you it's very difficult to find the tracers at night. Uh, when you start shooting the guy from behind, it's really difficult. There we go. Let's see if he hits him. Yeah, there we go. Got a lot shot off. Let's see if he hits it again. Nope, I missed the second one. Let's see what we get this one. That one hit, and now he's not gonna be that stupid and stand there and while I shoot him. I'm just gonna let it go because I have no choice. Now I'm gonna go up with my melee. 
Now sprinting up. Now if you strafe in this game, uh, and I'm not sure if I've done it yet in front of you, uh, you'll see that it's pretty, it stops you. Like you can't use sprinting and strafing at the same time. But here we go, this is about the melee. That's it. There's no directional combat, there's no, bl the blocking doesn't even work. Uh, so, you know, right now it's very limited in what you can do. Now, even if you have some special skills thrown into there, I mean, you're technically just clicking because there's no skill involved in clicking the mouse. You just have to aim at the guy and click. Um, you know, and I'm hoping that they improve on that a bit, you know, given it's only beta, but, you know, this is only three weeks away to launch or whatever it is, so it is uh, a little worrisome to me, but hopefully they get it sorted. Now I'm just going to rest a little bit, get some stamina back. Stamina goes back faster when you're resting, so good to use that skill on a regular basis. Now this chick here, I think it's the chick anyway. I'm running off. Okay. Just running off a little bit. You can see a little bit off the edge when we come up here, you'll see. Now the world is pretty damn humongous. Uh, you know, if you look at the map, I'm not really sure. But uh, the world is massive, and it takes a long time to run from one end of the earth to the other. Or Aegon, if you want to say that. Now this is me doing a Bindstone recall. And I can do this. Uh, it takes a while, just to give you an idea, that's the status bar. You have to stand completely still, take off your uh, weapons. But that's one of the... Uh... Now, I'm just jumping out of it because I'm going to go and PK somebody. So I'm going to get my bow on in a second, I hope. Just run up here. Now she's, she's standing still, so I can get a good opportunity to nail a couple of times. See how much damage goes out with that ar archery? And she hasn't even moved yet. Now I'm just going to finish her up with some uh, melee run after her. And she has no stamina. That's why she's barely even fighting back. And there you go. That's PvP in its infancy anyway. Now I'm going to gank her. You hit the zero button and just kill her. There you go. And now I'm going to turn red. Shortly, anyway, you'll see. Now I'm just gonna run for it because there's too many monsters, and I don't need to be around here while I'm rogue. Nothing much on her, but we'll just grab what we can. I have enough health that I can kind of get away with it. Now I'm evil, I'm no longer considered rogue. So this is where pretty much you turn the equivalent of what's red in uh, UO. So now I'm just making a run for it. I have enough stamina to sprint straight out of it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just gonna run up here, and since this has no uh, titles on your name, you don't see who people are, and you can't see them if they're hidden in the woods or anything like that, we're just gonna come up to this big rock and uh, hide behind it and do a bindstone recall. Now you can see if I'm sprinting and strafing, it doesn't work. See? Uh, behind this rock, uh, passersby won't know that I'm there because there's no pop-up names or anything, which is really cool. And uh, we can do a bindstone recall. I think I spelled it wrong there. And there it goes. Just gonna wait it out now, and we'll be recalling shortly. That's basically the uh, entire introduction of the game. Uh, it gives you a little bit of archery, melee, uh, a little PvP in there, which is kind of lame, but uh, just showing you what it's like, at least at the lower levels. Uh, what else? 
graphics are pretty damn good in this game. There's a couple of glit graphical glitches that I've seen. Uh, the shadows don't.